So I am about to go out and about today. Um, I have had a request to do a video basically sort of con uh, compilating what I I sort of use as my criteria and how I shop at thrift stores to kind of pick up some of the treasures that I pick up. Um, this, this came about when I picked up a vintage pocket watch for 89 cents. Uh, and its value is close to a hundred dollars. So I have, so I've had a request to like teach us, teach us the ways of, of the force, O Jedi Master. And so I shall. Um, today we're, I'm going to show you, uh, some of the tips and tricks that I, that I do by basically going out to thrift stores and hopefully secretly film because some places don't actually want you to film. So we're going to kind of try and do it rather quietly. Uh, and since the weather is particularly cold and rainy and just awful, I am, I am dressed in several layers uh, with wellies and a cap and looking rather almost British-ish, uh, even wearing a Manchester United jersey. Um, and so we're just going to kind of go around to a couple of thrift stores and see what we can find. The first thing I do is I literally look at everything. I, I, I look at all the shelves, even if I'm not really interested in books um, in any particular fashion, I just kind of give them a glance because I have found all sorts of things stuck in really weird places. There is always a, a place where they have like bag stuff. In this in this particular case, um, it's sort of a wall of, of miscellaneous things um, from from stationery to to sewing items. Um, I'm looking I'm specifically looking at a bag of uh, it might have been trimmings but it seems to be like hair ties and stuff. Um, if something looks interesting, then investigate further. but it, much like over in the books, look at all of the things. And here I found a vintage uh, drawing utensil for $5.99. I, I opted not to buy it, but it's still, it, it's still, you never know what you're going to find. And another one of those things where it's like, way this is kind of weird and fun if I actually, you know, wanted a, a vase of miscellaneous things. Um, Legos uh, tend to be a, a really hot thing for, for thrift stores. Um, savers here, you tends to put them over with the collectibles. Um, and the collectibles section, you never know what you're going to find. Like these little Harry Potter figurines and a old vintage postcard, I guess. Three dollars was actually a little much for, for that. Um, the sort of like the silver wearer is exactly the same thing. Um, you sort of you look over everything, you, you pick it up, you, you feel it. You, if you really love it and it's a decent price, you know, buy it. Um, I have gotten I've, I have gotten uh, a, a really great little silver pot just accidentally for ninety nine cents one day. Um, that was from Paul Revere International. So, and it's 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 about a ten dollar creamer. So you know it's and paying ninety nine cents for that, you know I got a really good deal. And there were some really nice platters here today, um, but it's it's sort of the same deal throughout the entire store. Just look, you never know what you're going to find. Um, like I'm I'm kind of glancing through the fabric here, even though I don't need any more fabric. But it's I I just you never know when something's going to make you go. Oh wow, that is amazing, and that's a really good price. Just like that gold herringbone fabric I bought here a while ago. Uh, you just you just kind of keep your eyes open, and if something is of interest, investigate further. Just keep going through. Um, just this is the same thing with the with the linens and and everything. I really kind of wanted this chair. I, I I loved it. It's there were quite a few vintage chairs on wheels, but twenty dollars. I I didn't have an immediate use for it, so I left it. I I almost kind of wish I didn't. Vintage My Little Pony Paradise Estate pieces. Ah, uh, alas, I already have extra Paradise Estate pieces, or else I would have bought those. 
um, vintage uh, Vintage shoes are really really great to find at thrift stores because they tend to be fairly inexpensive and uh, Particularly I happen to be glancing over the the men's shoes there Okay, when I'm looking at clothing I always pull it out of the rack and give it a really good once over I feel it I look for any holes for any stains if there are any missing buttons uh, anything that would need to be repaired or if um, or cleaned in any particular way um, this is a really gorgeous shirt and once again also looking at the price tag going is this worth this money do I love it and so I buy it this is a shirt that is called, goes along the same lines of okay there are problems with it is it repairable and is it worth repairing uh, in this case, it is a genuine vintage shirt with some stains on it. Um, it looks like it hasn't been cleaned in 25 years. Uh, it, it is $12, which is a little high, um, but I had to have it. This is one of those things where it's like $12. This is completely my aesthetic. I, I love I love the, the long calfkin type, type clothing. The problem is it might have been a bit small and there was also some repair work that needed to be done. I didn't really want to take that on. So I opted to not purchase this gorgeous, gorgeous black beaded um, long tunic, but I'm sure someone else is going to fall in love with it and buy it. So I didn't record um, a whole lot in Savers. I actually wanted to record more than I did, but it was really busy in there. Probably because everybody had the same thought I did in that it was it was a good day to kind of go thrifting. Uh, I, I found Lego Batman um, over in the video game movie media section. I didn't really film over there because there were a lot of people and it's at the very front of the store and I just said screw it. Um, this at uh, $5.99 uh, is, is actually kind of a, a really good price for, for used games if you go to some, if you go to a, like a used game place. Uh, you will you might end up paying a lot more than that. Um, everything inside seems to be good. Uh, when you buy movies and, and video games and things at thrift store, always make sure that the, that the discs are actually in there and that they are in good condition. This is, quite frankly, immaculate. Whoever had this actually took really good care of it or they barely used it. Um, I was at a thrift store one day and they had a ton of Wii games and I got really excited, but then I opened them up and all of the discs were gone. Somebody stole them all. So I went, all right, so I, I didn't really... This, that store was also really busy that day, so I didn't really tell the clerk. I just sort of popped open all the boxes and made it rather obvious that all the discs were stolen. So, yeah. But, yes, I picked up those two shirts that I showed you, um, as well as a new shopping bag, because cause that, is, that is fantastic. I just, I love shopping bags that just have... I mean, gorgeous graphics on them so and since uh, New York State is going to be moving to uh, bagless and and sans plastic bag in the night in the near future uh, it helps to have lots and lots of different shopping bags sitting around moved on to a new thrift store and that's in this case uh, they seem to have had a, a ton of of stuff donated from a some store that has gone out of business and so I snagged me a Hufflepuff thing um, patterns sewing patterns and things um, it's exactly the same way as you shop for DVDs and CDs look at them really closely make sure everything is actually in them make sure the patterns are uncut uh, oh here here's a good one here's a good one 498 and 388 brand new they were they're cheaper at Walmart <laughs> Nope. <laughs> that's de that's a definite no. Um, ooh, this I I saw this this the the red immediately caught my eye and it is so 90s. It is a gorgeous satin trimmed 
velour dress. Uh, it is it is incredible, and I absolutely had to have it because fuzzy. I love fuzzy things. Continuing an apparent Lego theme today, we have Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I honestly didn't know that they made a Lego Pirates of the Caribbean video game, but apparently they did another Wii game that looks like it was basically unused. So I'm going to have some Lego Wii fun at some point.